Hey guys, welcome to Shire Skull Studios. It's Raven Wolf, and we're back with another Friday deck list. This one is going to be called Machine Graveyard. A commander is Takesha, Dig Site Mentor. Also, guys, go ahead, um, please like and subscribe to help out the channel, and comment down below what you think of the deck or any ways you think you can make the deck a little better. Um, now, don't worry about this price tag. Um, you could probably make this deck a lot cheaper. We'll go ahead and uh, update the cheapest. Yes. There you go. A lot cheaper. A lot of it, too, is me just choosing the lands that I want, stuff like that, or uh, arts that I want. Anyway, what Takesha says is... Creatures you control have Vigilance and Tap Surveil 1, which is you look at the top, you may put it into your graveyard. You may also pay 2, 2 green, 2 white, 2 blue. Exile her from your graveyard, return any number of target artifacts with total mana value 10 or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. So, basically this deck is we're wanting to get all of our artifacts that our opponents destroy or stuff like that. Get them from my graveyard, put them back to the battlefield, do some combos. Um, going to our Planeswalkers, we have Karn the Great Creator, which will stack our opponent's artifacts. You can plus one, turn an artifact to a creature, either one of our opponents, if we had creature removal, or um, we can minus two, which is what this deck is for, to get artifacts that our opponents exile back into our hand. We can get uh, Tameo Completed Sage, mostly it's to tap down our opponent's stuff. Um, that with Karn, we can exile an artifact from our graveyard, and Karn can get it back later, but we make a copy of it. Um, we have Ugin the Ineffable, who is just card advantage and blockers, and he's removal. Ren and Realmbreaker is mana fixing. Also, the minus two is to mill us. So it's card advantage, and we get to mill something that Takesha can get back later. Also, the minus seven is really good. Going to our creatures, we have Alloy Mirror, Canoptic Scare Swarm, that is Graveyard Hate, uh, Canoptic Spider is for card draw, um, Tomb Sentinel is with Takesha, get it back from the graveyard, we're going to exile something of our opponents, Copper Mirror, Crypto Thrall to give our um, artifacts hexproof, Emery um, is to mill us, and we, um, she is Graveyard Recursion for our artifacts. And she goes infinite with the combo I will put in later. Eternal Witness is Graveyard Recursion, Gold Mirror, Hangerback Walker. It's a big thing that hopefully will uh, make us blockers later on. Uh, Koldotha Forge Master is a tutor with Metal Worker as a, a mana rock. Now, a lot of people will say, oh, nobody has a Metal Worker. You can take Metal Worker out and put in. Any other artifact piece you might want. Um, but yeah, I have one. So I put it in each artifact deck I play. Just to ramp out really, really fast. Mirror and Spy. Um, when you cast artifact spell, you may untap target creature. Um, and essentially, this will go infinite with a combo with Emery later on. Mirror Galvanizer. Tap him to untap each other Mirror we control. Mural Shield Argive is to basically make our turn our turn, and we can make soldiers if we go on the aggression. aggression. All Tech Matter Weaver. Um, when we cast a creature spell, we can make artifact or we create a token that's a copy of target artifact token you control. Basically, we're going to start making more artifacts. Padim is to give our artifacts hexproof, and if we control the artifact with the highest mana value or tied for it, we draw a card. Palladium Mirror, Platinum Angel, just as a kind of stacks piece to keep us in the game. Sakushima the Imposter to ETB as any creature we have. Like, you know, if they want to, you know, if we want like another Platinum Angel or if we want to do another Padim um, to give all our, or uh, the Crypto Thrall. ETB is as a Crypto Thrall, all our facts have Hexproof, uh, Skullmutt. We have Savala as ramping, which will go into another infinite combo. Silver Mirror, Solemn Simulacrum um, for ramp. Where's a Lord High Artificer? 
Mostly, I'll put him in here to um, make our artifacts tap for mana. But the last ability, the pay 5, get a thing, is really good. Urza, Lord High Protector, is to make all the artifacts cost less. And I did put in the uh, Might Stone and Weak Stone in here. Urza, Prince of Krug, all artifact creatures we control get plus two, plus two, but the important part is the six. We create a token that's a copy of target artifact we control, except it's a one, one soldier in addition. Basically, roommate copies of important combos. Walking Ballista is here for um, removal, and in case we ramp out with infinite mana, we can dump it in there, shoot our opponents. Wizard Replica is to counter our opponent's spells and, whoops, if I can get it to pop up, um, unless they pay two. Basically, I want my opponents to start using up more mana for their spells, and we can make copies of him later on. We can get him back from the graveyard. Last creature is Warm Coil Engine because of just death value right here, and we can get it back with Takesha. Whoops, lag there. All right. Going into our uh, instance, we have Beast Within for removal, Heroic Intervention for protection, Crows and Grip for removal, and Serious Protection for protection. Going to the more important, important part of the deck, the artifacts. Aetherworks Marvel is going to be for card advantage later on. Arcane Signet, Ashnod's Altar, Chromatic Lantern, Commander Sphere. Darksteel Forge to protect our artifacts. Gilded Lotus for ramp. Halo Fountain. Um, this with our commander or with specifically um, the Urza. That we can tap an artifact for blue. Pay a white. Basically we're going to make one ones. Um, this is one it's an alternate win condition. Mostly though it's um to make one once or to untap two tap creatures we control to draw a card helm of the host um this will make copies of things like crypto thrall or solemn or you know any of our other creatures that we want also if you put in chromatic ori this with urza would go infinite Funny enough, because uh, as long as you had one artifact creature, it would go infinite. You'd make infinite one ones, and then you could eventually make, um, if you wanted to, you could do, uh, draw your entire deck. So yeah, this Urza, Light, Urza High Lord Artificer and Chromatic Ori go infinite, and then you can win the game. Um, Liquid Metal Torque. It is a mana rock, but it can also turn something we want into an artifact for shenanigans. Lotus Bloom for mana ramp. Lotus Petal. Mindstone. Misleading Signpost. In the game of Commander, um, we can basically like make our opponents attack other people to, for protection. We have a Mox Amber. We have a Mycosynth Lattice to go with Karn to lock down our opponents out of the game, as hateful as it seems. It's mostly to get um, all my lands back for if people play land destruction against me. Or any of my ramp, Flamery Landscape, stuff like that. It, it, it'll make me be able to get more things back with Takesha. But it is also to shut down my opponents if I want to go for a quick win. Or if I'm just trying to end the game. Uh, Neville's Disc is for a board wipe. Phyrexian Altar, Phyrexian Altar with Ashen's Altar is to stack my commander because we want her in the graveyard, but it's also you know for mana. Sculpting Steel. ETBs is a copy of another artifact. More shenanigans. Simulacrum Synthesizer. Uh, ETBs we scry two. And we're going to be making the basically Urza's constructs that are 1 1 for each artifact we control. So they're going to keep getting bigger. It's just a really good card. Soul Ring. Staff of Domination to go infinite with Savala. The Great Hinge is just a good mana rock. And it will gain us life. Might Stone and Weak Stone to go with Urza. And flipping it. I guess it won't let me flip.
yeah, it won't let me flip it, but it'll make hopefully the big uh, Urza Planeswalker. And we have Thought Vessel, so we actually draw a lot of cards. We won't have to discard them. Freed from the Reel to go infinite with Savala, because essentially we're going to make a blue mana from our one green. Then we're going to use it to untap her. We're making more than one blue mana, so then we can tap her again to generate, we'll say green. So we make green and blue mana enough times where then we can generate mana of any color. And True Alarm to go with uh, infinite combos, because we can easily, with all our mana dorks, to go with Urza, make a copy of one of the mana dorks, untap it, stuff like that. We have Smothering Tithe, so we can make treasures, um, so that we can basically ramp out. Going to the lands, the expensive part, we have a Breeding Pool, Command Tower, Dark Steel Citadel, Dream Root Cascade, Exotic Orchard, Fable Passage, Three Forests, a Hollowed Fountain, Inventor's Fair, Irrigated Farmland, Three Island, Crows and Verge, Myrix, Myriad Landscape, Four Plains, Razor Tide Bridge, Reflecting Pool, Rejuvenating Springs, Rubber Quarry Tower, Sparse Headquarters, Strip Mine. Um, this is to stop certain combos like with Gaida, um, Gaia's Cradle and Sarah's. I think it was it Sarah's Realm, the the White Land that taps white for every enchantment you control. This is for things like that, and uh. We have Thorn Glint Bridge, Urza's Mine, Urza's Power Plant, Urza's Tower, of course, and Urza's Workshop to do this Tron out. And uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and playtest it. Going ahead, go ahead playtest. And I'll go ahead and keep that hand. We'll draw to Spar's Headquarters next turn. We'll have an island. Can't do anything yet. Ooh, Irrigate Farmland comes in play tapped. It's fine. Next turn, we'll do Hollowed Fountain, Cast Commander. Next turn, we're going to go ahead and do a Phyrexian Altar. Next turn, we're going to do a Strip Mine. We're going to sack our commander, tap two mana because it doesn't matter. We're going to do alloy mirror, and then one, two, three, intruder alarm. Next turn, um, we're going to go ahead and tap, tap, tap. We're going to cast all tech ETBs. We want to tap alloy mirror. Then we're going to go ahead and tap, 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 cast, Mer Galvanizer on the cast. We're going to make a Gnome, Gnome ETB is on cast, we untap Alloy Mirror. Um, let me see, how much mana do, what do we have? That's one, two... Three. So we don't have enough mana, but we do have mana to use Heroic Intervention. Going that, we have Beast Within, Heroic Intervention, stuff like that. But what I'll go ahead and do, we could go ahead and tap. Yeah, we'll tap Alamir, tap Strip Mine. And we'll tap Mergalvanizer to untap Alamir. Tap him again. So we have three mana. Um, four, five mana. Cast Goldatha on cast. We make a gnome. Gnome ETBs. Untap, untap. Before Goldatha ETB. Oh, ETB trigger with Ensure Alarm. We'll go ahead, tap, 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 tap. So we made three more mana. Um, 
Uh, then he'll ETB. We on tap. Tap. Padim. Padim ETBs. Oh no, we cast a creature. Yeah. So yeah, that that combo right there. Intruder Alarm and Ultek. Really, really neat. Let's go ahead and start over. Ooh, this hand's not great. So we're going to mulligan that away. Alright, that one's okay. That one's better. So we'll do a command tower. I think we drew. Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we'll go to turn two. Turn two, we'll do Requiry Tower. Tap for Copper Mirror. Next turn, Forest. We'll cast Ultek. Hang on. Do we do that? One, two. Mindstone, then cast Ultek. Next turn, ooh, um, one, two, three, four. No, we don't have the right colors. Dang, we can't cast Commander. That's fine. So we'll do this and Rubber Tower. Tap. We'll cast Silver Mer. Make a gnome. And already we're going pretty wide on turn four. And then we could easily just do one, two, three. Phyrexian Altar. Next turn. And on this turn, we didn't draw land, but we have mana. And we have Phyrexian Altar. If we wanted to, we could cast Karn. Um, we could start casting Urza, and we'll start making copies of the Mer if we wanted to, or of Mindstone. Um, we could do uh, Padim for protection if we wanted to. And yeah, so let's go ahead and start over. Or that's automatically turn five. We have a lot of answers to do it. And this one, we'll go ahead, we'll do Breeding Pool and play Taps because it doesn't matter. Next turn. We'll do Dark Steel Citadel. We'll do Walking Ballista for one. Because why not at this point? Next turn. Ooh. Yeah, that one was a bad one. Alright. Here we go. Uh, we'll do Mirror Landscape and play Taps. Turn two. We're going to do Command Tower. Tap Mary Landscape, Soul Ring, Tap, Tap, we'll do Wizard Replica, no, we'll do Palladium Mirror actually, yeah, that'll work, um, then we'll do a Failed Passage, we're gonna crack Mary Landscape, and we're gonna go grab two islands, Move my mic over because it's in front of my keyboard. Um, islands, islands, close and shuffle. ETB's tapped. Then we're going to do. Let's see, one, two, three, four mana. Yeah, we're going to tap and we're going to go ahead and get a planes. Actually, no, we're going to go grab a forest. That way we can tap out uh, for Eternal Witness if we wanted to. And then we're going to do Command Tower for um, Emery. Then we mill four. One, two, three, four. Ooh, good hits, good hits if our opponent does not exile our graveyard. And that's all in turn three. We've got so much mana for turn five. Breeding pool will come in. We'll take the two damage. Immediately, what I want to do is start setting up counter spells. So what we'll do, I'm going to tap Emery. And we're going to cast Arcane Signet. With Soul Ring. Um, I'm going to tap Palladium Mirror and an Island. 
We're going to cast Wizard Replica, leaving this island untapped for Wizard Replica. And what else do I want? Because I've got enough green mana, I can start doing stuff if I wanted to. Actually, we messed up. We messed up. So here, let's go ahead and redo this. Let's go ahead and redo this turn. Let's redo this turn. So we play Bringing Pool. Do that. What we're going to do is we're going to cast Mirror and Spy. With Mirror and Spy on the battlefield, we'll tap Emery, casting Arcane Signet with Soul Ring. We're going to untap Palladium Mirror for mana. We're going to, yeah, that's how we're going to do it. That way we. That's why we, we get our mana. So now we can tap Plating Mirror again. And we'll say we tap this forest. Wizard Replica untapping Plating Mirror. And then we can go ahead and do Arcane Signet. Green. Green. Yeah. There we go. Actually, we'll tap our lands. Because they blow up our lands and before they cast a spell. Whereas the Rebecca won't do anything. So, then we're going to cast Eternal Witness. Eternal Witness will ETB. And we're going to put... Ugin in our hand. And there you go. That is a turn for five lands. And we have ramped out. Very lucky. This is like, but this is a, it's all because of that soul ring though. But, and we got Emery. So yeah. Turn five is, oof. Now we lock down our opponents. We're going to go ahead and do power plants. And yeah. So what we're going to do, we're going to tap Palladium Mirror, and we'll tap Soul Ring, we'll tap an Island, a Forest, then we cast Ugin. With Ugin, we'll top card of our deck, uh, how do we turn it face down? Do we not put it face down? Oh, I guess, but yeah, this will be the face down thing we do with Ugin, or if we wanted to. I love the counter. I would do it just to get the two two out, um, and then we basically just tap two mana for Karn. Boom! There you go, Karn the Great Creator. We can make uh, an artifact a creature. But we don't have one. Does it say a non-creature? Yeah, non-creature artifact. So yeah, we couldn't like do some shenanigans if we wanted to. Um, we what we could do? We'll tap Emery. and. One, one. So two mana, we cast Thought Vessel, untapping Play a Mirror, then we. I really don't want to do that though. Yeah, I guess we'll do that. Great Hinge will stay in the graveyard. But yeah, that's automatically a turn five. And if our opponent has countered something, we've got counters. So I want to do this one more time because I just really like this deck. We'll draw a card for turn. It's not bad. It's not bad. We'll go ahead and do Dream Root Cascade. Actually, no, we're not. We're going to do Fabled Passage and we're going to crack it and go get a Plains. Because we need all of our mana. There we go. Plains. Close and shuffle. We get Plains. Ba ba ba. 
One, two, three, four, six, seven. Next turn, I'm gonna do. Uh, we'll do a forest. So in this this one, we are not popping off that much. Next turn, Drew root cascade. We'll do that. We scry to um, lattice. Do we want lattice right now? We could, because we strip mine. And it's Acacia, we can just keep getting it back, but we need a sack outlet. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them both on the bottom. Bomb a library. Bomb a library. There we go. Those are not answers right now to things that we need. Turn four. We'll do an island. And we'll cast all of them. Um, when Solemn ETBs, we make a token. And we go get a basic land. What basic land color should I grab? Well, this, where you go. Island. That pops up. There you go. We got an island in play tapped. And yep, that's automatically a uh, turn four. We get a three three. It's not bad. Next turn. Um I could do Miri Landscape. We'll cast Gilded Lotus. If it ETBs, we make another construct. That just gets way bigger. We'll tap Gilded Lotus. Cast plenty of mirror, making another construct. And basically, turn five, we have three that are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, three, seven, sevens. <laughs> and there you go. Yeah. So yeah, this deck is this deck has some pretty stupid stuff in it. It has a lot of good cards that just do well together. Mostly because synth synthesizer is such a good card. If you run any artifacts or three or greater, I because most of them you should do around three pretty good but anyways guys i'll see y'all again next time again please like and subscribe to check out the channel bye bye